We know that uh, Jesus, after the resurrection, he went up to heaven, the ascension of the Lord. Uh, it was by his own power. But uh, there's a big difference in this ascension and uh, this today, the celebration, assumption. Uh, Mary is uh, human, uh, like us, except sin. So she has no power to go to heaven. And uh, Jesus had uh, power because he's the Son of God. But Mary was assumed by the power of Jesus, uh, by the love of Jesus Christ. She was taken up not by her own power, but love of Jesus Christ. And in the same way, it will happen uh, by the love of Jesus, by the power of uh, Jesus Christ, will go to heaven in one day. And so Mary is ahead. And now he's in heaven, and she prays for us as the mother of Jesus and the mother of us. And we are all children of God and the children of Mother Mary. So today is a day of hope and a day of thanksgiving. She already gone ahead of us, and she prays for us today. It's an assumption. And today's gospel, Mary rejoiced. Uh, they of joy. God has brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lorry, lifted up the lorry. That's exactly assumption and uh, this handmaid of the Lord, uh, so humble. But that's a way of God. Uh, God exalts those who are humble. And God knows uh, how our heart, uh, how we are uh, more humble or we are more polite. And that's the way to heaven. And uh, uh, that's uh, uh, something we encourage each other, love each other, and going together on the way to heaven. Uh, we say, Kasi Lantibune, way to heaven, uh, sing together and encourage each other and receive the sacraments. We are all way to heaven with Jesus Christ and uh, Mother Mary. And uh, also, uh, today's gospel, Mary's humility magnifies uh, my soul, magnifies the uh, uh, goodness of the God, greatness of the God. Uh, she was uh, always able to do, because she's, uh, her heart was so humble, so immaculate. Uh, she was able to uh, look at all this goodness of God and the goodness of others. Uh, because uh, she's uh, so humble and so pure, so immaculate heart. But uh, that does not mean her life was uh, so something uh, joy and happy, happy. Uh, it's actually like uh, today's uh, this first reading, something special, it's a spiritual battle uh, between Mother Mary and uh, this dragon and uh, devil Satan's. Uh, it's a great, great battle, and that is a spiritual battle going on. And uh, in our life situation, actually, it's a spiritual battle between humility or pride. A humility of Jesus and the humility of Mary, uh, we are in which side? And uh, what is uh, this uh, battle, how it ends? Uh, we know uh, today's gospel, uh, God will lift up those who are humble, and uh, our Lady Fatima said, in the end, my immaculate heart will triumph. So we know the end. So that's why we need to be humble. We need to be little like Mother Mary. And God knows how we are, our heart. God does not look at our appearances, but always God looks at our heart. And that is uh, happening. So uh, we need to uh, remain uh, this, uh, to see the goodness of God, like uh, Mother Mary, and always to ponder it. Ponder it. Uh, many, uh, some places, gospel says, Mary treasured, Mary pondered, not bad thing, Mary treasured good things. And uh, that is something uh, in our life we praise and thank God. And that is good. Uh, we need to praise and thank God to see the goodness of God. And every day, every in the end of the day, uh, reflect uh, throughout the day how God is working in my life. And to see what are the graces, gifts uh, today I have received. Uh, so that's a good way uh, to do the examination of conscience. 
And exactly, Mother Teresa did、uh, in the end of the day, she did every day, night prayer, examination of conscience. We think that the examination of conscience somehow it is preparation for confession, and we、uh, think about our sin, this and this, and make a list. But、uh, actually,、uh, the more important is、uh, to see、uh, what are the graces. And Mother Teresa did five graces she wrote down. That's the first thing. And the second, she did five sins of the day. So, first comes five graces. And from there, we give thanks to the Lord,、uh, praise, and thank. And that is exactly the attitude of Mother Mary.、Uh, she's looking at goodness of God.、Uh, even Uh, her life was a struggle, like always this、uh, spiritual battle. But uh, in, uh, she was on the earth.、Uh, many, many unexpected things.、Uh, Jesus was lost, and after three days, Jesus appears. You didn't know I was in the Father's house. I did not understand. Even Jesus dies on the cross. All this did not understand. So much unexpected struggle, struggle. But she was always able to see the goodness of God and the goodness of all things because she never, never lost faith, hope, and love in Jesus Christ. And that's what we need. We need to ask, especially Mother Mary, give us faith, hope, and love in Jesus Christ so that we can see all these good things in God, in others, and in all the things, even. In our struggles.、Uh, so、uh, today, let us ask Mother Mary, pray for us,、uh, be a mother to us, and give us courage, give us faith, hope, and love in Jesus Christ. And one day, also, we can say that God has done great things for me.